In this tutorial, you will learn the basics of advanced actions, including how to create an advanced action, how to show or hide an image with an advanced action, how to assign an advanced action to a button click and finally, how to apply an effect to an object with advanced actions. Ready? Let's begin now. To follow along, be sure to download the exercise files from our free downloads section. You must be registered with our site to access this section. Registration is free and takes only a few moments. After downloading the exercise files and opening them in Captivate, click on the Library tab. In this exercise, we will create an advanced action that will launch a rocket after a button is clicked. The library contains all the images you will need to complete this tutorial. Begin by locating the graphic title rocket underscore A, and drag it into position on the slide. After the rocket is in position, you will next need to provide an item name for the graphic. This will allow you to locate the item when you are creating your advanced action. Click on the Properties tab to locate the item name field. Next, click on the Library tab and drag the graphic named Rocket underscore B onto the slide. Position the rocket directly above the first rocket graphic that you placed on the stage. As we did previously, click on the Properties tab and provide an item name for the rocket graphic. We do not want the rocket graphic that we just placed on the screen to initially be visible. We only want this image to appear after the rocket is launched. Because this version of the rocket has flames visible, it will give the illusion of the rocket igniting. To hide the rocket, Uncheck the box next to the visible field. Next, we will add a button to the slide that we will later attach our advanced action to. After the button appears on the stage, Apply the launch style in the properties panel. As we did with the rocket graphics, we will also provide an item name to the button that we will use in our advanced action. At this point, all of the objects that we need are on the slide, and we are now ready to begin creating our advanced action. Click on the project menu item, followed by advanced actions to bring up the advanced actions panel. The first thing you will need to do when creating an advanced action is to give your action a name. You do this by typing a name in the action name field. Please note that you cannot use spaces in action names. It is always a good practice to name the action after what it will be doing. For example, our action will be launching a rocket, so we name our action launch underscore rocket. We are now ready to add our actions. Building an advanced action is as simple as selecting a series of actions from drop-down lists in order to achieve the desired effect. In this exercise, we wish to hide Rocket A, show Rocket B, and finally launch Rocket B off of the slide with an animation effect. Let's build this advanced action now. Previously in this tutorial, we provided an item name for each of the objects on our slide. As you can see, this makes it easier to identify our items in the list. Select rocket underscore A since we would like it to be hidden after the button is clicked. Next, we will add the action to show rocket underscore B. The final action we wish to add, is the action that will animate the rocket upwards and off of the screen. We will do this by applying an effect.
We are now ready to save the advanced action. Now that the advanced action is complete, we are ready to assign it to a button. Click on the launch button to select it. Scroll down to the action section on the properties panel. Click the checkbox next to show hand cursor over hit area. Click on the success drop down menu under action. Select execute advanced actions. The advanced actions that are available will appear in the script drop down list. Since we only have one advanced action, it will appear in the list as the default script assigned to the on success action of the button. We are now ready to test the advanced action. When we click the button, the advanced action should animate the rocket. You should now be familiar with how to create an advanced action, how to show or hide an image with an advanced action, how to assign an advanced action to a button click and finally, how to apply an effect to an object with advanced actions. Be sure to watch our other tutorials so that you can learn how to get the most out of your new templates.